As the University of Phoenix instructor in Southern California for the past 12 years, I have watched students struggle with the APA format. What I try to show students is that we can simplify the process for setting up an APA format paper by creating an APA format template in Microsoft Word 2007. In the previous presentation, I showed you just that, how to set up an APA format template. Now, with that template, you can consistently apply the APA format to all of your documents. To do so, you would need to open up the APA format template. You do that by selecting the Microsoft Office button, clicking New, selecting My Templates, and here you see the APA format paper template. It is a DOTX file. That means it's a template. It's always available for you in My Templates. I create a new document and now I have that new document. If you remember in the previous presentation, the new document had a header. I can double click on the header and I can change the header. The header here is research paper. If I don't want to change the header, I can just leave it alone. By double clicking on header, I can now move down to the title of my paper and the, the name the name of my university, the title of the course, and the date. And I can change this information as I see appropriate. I'm going to leave that alone and I'm going to move down to the other part of the paper. As you can see, because the template has created a header, we also have the same information under header. Research paper Page number two. In other words, not only is the header automatically being created in the upper left hand corner of the paper, the page number is automatically being generated in the upper right hand corner. Page number one for page number one, which is the title page, and page number two, which is where the body of the paper goes. I'm going to double click on header again, and I'm going to go to this information that I have here. As you can see, I've, got, I've typed in a lot of gobbledygook. Now, I can delete that. And you'll also notice that I have the, lines, the alignment set up so that the text will align left. To start off my paper, I would indent the first paragraph and I would start typing. It is not necessary at this stage to add any more information such as an abstract or a title you already have your title and you're ready to start typing your paragraph in a paragraph format. I'd also rem like to remind you that when you set up your template, all of your information will be presented in the font Times New Roman size 12 because you've created a default font. In addition, the line spacing will be double spaced, so you're ready to start typing. I'm going to paste my information in here and what you'll also notice is as I've typed my information I haven't had to create new headers or any put any more information. I have again on the third page it says research paper page number three and this is as is appropriate. Now if I want to create a references page which is the second page I'm going to click Insert, Page Break, and now I can create a References page. At the top of a References page, we center space the word References. Tab down, click Text Alignment Left, and now I would start typing in my list of references. This, paper, this document has not been saved. I would now save this document not as a template but as an actual Word document. And I can save this onto my desktop or wherever I deem appropriate. When I click Save, I've saved my new document.